Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, and we have a Vanderpump Rules update here. We have a three-for-one video on this hump day. Tom Sandoval reacting to Ariana's new boyfriend or her new makeup partner, whatever they are. Follow me on Instagram, at dneals. We're going to get into that. Plus, it's revealed that Raquel met Tom's mom in December when they were uh, canoodling in St. Louis together, as you do. And then we'll get Tom's response. They actually got him, TMZ got him at LAX, which means he probably called TMZ and said, hey, come to Terminal 2 or Baggage Claim 3. I'll be here and I'll pretend like I'm not interested, but we'll get all the information out. All right, this and more on today's episode. Don't forget to follow me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind-the-scenes content. If you want to support the channel, go over to Patreon and do that. And also, every afternoon, we have Bachelor Rush Hour, the podcast. I'll have unique tea. Look, these stories are breaking so fast. I can't keep up. TMZ has a team of people all around town following this and that, camping out at at, you know, uh, Tom's uh, P.O. box. and <laughs> They're all over the place. So do me a favor and stick with us. And by the way, Coachella, what a wild week one. Acrobat crashes to the stage. Let's watch this video. A woman is motionless. Paramedics rush to help. Here it is. Dancing right there. You can hear the scream. Crazy, right? And uh, they had to wheel her off. Another lady fainted when she saw it. Apparently, she was blinking, which, uh, you know, is a sign of, I guess she's doing okay. Who knows? But, uh, gosh, a dangerous world out there at Coachella um, for the acrobats. And we've got, to, here's Tom. So I'm going to play what Tom said. Uh, save that for a second. He's got his full minute and a half conversation here with a TMZ of reporter. Is that what you call him? Paparazzi. But let's start here. Raquel awkwardly met Tom Sandoval's mom, and she knew. Of course Tom's mom knew. She wasn't born yesterday. Raquel had an awkward first encounter with Tom Sandoval's mom, who knew all about their secret affair, and were told the meeting wasn't even supposed to go down. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ Raquel took another trip to St. Louis, Tom's hometown, in January, following her first outing the month before. They were at a bar with his friends when the place abruptly had to close due to an ice storm warning in the area. The group decided to take shelter at Tom's mom's house, which was nearby, making it the first time Raquel has ever met her. And yes, his mom, Terry, knew all about their affair. My, my, my question is this. I don't know. If I was in another part of the country, my wife would know. You know what I mean? Does Ariana, and I'm not blaming her, but did she not know that Tom and Ari and Raquel were both in St. Louis together? What a wild situation. We're told Terry wasn't cool with their situation, but was cordial during the quick exchange. Oh, of course. Terry looks like a nice mom. I'm sure she's going to be cordial. She's going to be like, Tom, uh, you know I don't like your mistresses, but I'm going to make them a hot tea and some warm cookies. The group ended sp spending the night, ended up spending the night, and Tom and Raquel ended up in the same room. TMC broke the story. Raquel made her first St. Louis trek at the end of December, with Tom giving her a tour of the city, but we were told his family had no interest in meeting her, especially knowing what was going on behind the scenes, between the sheets. We got Tom out on Tuesday, so we'll get to the Tom interview right after this. Ariana locking lips again with Coachella Bay during LAX drop-off. Now, my last video, I said that the fact that Ariana was holding hands with this new guy was more personal than the fact that they had sex, which, of course, I was kidding, but also not really. It really depends how you look at it. Now, not to say sex can't be personal, but it can also be transactional. But holding hands, that's a big deal. Well, you know what's a bigger deal than holding hands? Dropping off your new bay at the LAX airport. LAX is a disaster. It's a dumpster fire. It's on the other side of town. It's an easy hour drive in and out. Now, if you're dropping them off even anything remotely close to rush hour, the only window you have to drop off is 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. or after 8 p.m. That's it. The rest, it's devastating. If you're from Los Angeles, you know. But the fact she dropped off her new bay at LAX and then went back, that's like literally a full day's event there. So if that's not love, I don't know what is. Things between Ariana and her Coachella boo are looking like more than just a festival hookup. But, but by the way, I feel like when you talk about festival hookups, you talk about 20-year-olds. These are grown adults just going to Coachella, getting dusty in the desert, watching you know acrobatics fall from the sky. Ariana was spotted once again with Daniel Monday after their fun in the Indio Sun. And again, they were making out curbside at LAX before he headed inside to jet off. There's, no, there's nothing more anxious than trying to get your last makeout in while there's a guy with a whistle 
just yelling at you. Move it along, folks. The pics at least make it seem like Ariana is really into this guy. Yeah, it looks nice. Setting aside the super public PDA, Ariana drove him through infamous LA traffic to get one to one of the busiest airports on the West Coast. Talk about commitment. So clearly TMZ is on the same page as me. As we reported, Vanderpump Rules star was in full rebound mode over the weekend. Video obtained by TMZ showed Ari and the fitness coach locking lips pretty passionately while dancing the night away. Uh, Molly will do that, folks. While some speculated this could have just been a fling, the LEX trip might be a sign it's a lot more legit because gas ain't cheap. We covered it all on the podcast. Okay, so let's go to our final uh, story here. Tom Sandoval, really happy Ariana's moving on, ready to end Scandoval. You know what's funny? Uh, I a lot of I appreciate that Tom wants to end Scandaval, but that's like when someone gets a nickname and you're and they're like, "All right, we're done calling me the nickname," and it's like, "Listen, Weasel, you got the nickname, and it's not your choice whether it ends or not." Let's have a listen. Tom, man, I'm I'm sorry, bro. I just I gotta ask. You think everyone should move on in this whole situation? Yeah, I think they should. You think too much was made of it? Um. You're just surprised it's still continuing this far long. It's ridiculous, man. Um, the people that are perpetuating it the most are uh, the, uh, you know, the, the the squad of it all. All the girls involved. Yeah. All, yeah. all the. Uh, yeah. You, you you see the photos? You you see Ariana's kind of moving on. Yes, I love that. Is that what you want? Yes, I do. I really do. So you're happy for her finding potentially a new guy and that sort of stuff? Yes, I'm really happy. Do you text her and sort of like, you know, I'm glad? No. No? no. Hey, hey, you think uh, Merivelle kind of did you dirty posting that thing? Yeah, I think they were really unprofessional and uh, I think it was pretty tacky for a place of that uh, nature to be, you know, that qual- caliber to do things like that. So. Are you going to take any sort of action against them? No. That was, that was, all right, well, have a good Also, can I just ask, how's Raquel holding up, man? I don't know, man. There's no comment on that one. Are, are, are you going to see her? No. No. All right, man. Hey, thank you, Tom, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Tom, bro. Thank you, Tom, bro. So how this works is, um, you know, you or your publicist, you call the t- TMC, the tip line, and you say, I'll be arriving at the airport. Here's my flight number. And then the guy waits so long. And then you put on your big glasses and you go, oh, geez, that's that's all I can talk about. And they get you going up the elevator. It's the whole, the whole elevator is like the 10 seconds to ask your questions. That's the new escalator. Oh, I'm sorry. The escalator is the new elevator. You get the point. The point is, it's a battle of he said, she said. But what really is happening is it's Tom's kind of in recovery, whereas Ariana is the uh, victim of the whole situation. Uh, Regardless of how everything else played out, that's where it's at. And let me know what you guys think. Uh, Is Ariana's boyfriend, is this like a new thing, or do you think it's a short term? I I assumed it was short. And when you talk about rebounds, hasn't Ariana known about this for months? Rebound, to me, it's like what you do the few weeks after a breakup. Maybe it's more serious. Maybe she's already had her rebound and we didn't get to see that. Either way, there's no way that TMZ was there to capture this kiss without them alerting them. This, Los Angeles County is 30 million people, isn't it? You don't just find a random person to kiss. Even LAX is seven terminals. It's a big area. So um, my guess is that was also uh, coordinated. Nothing's real, folks. It's all fake. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. We'll have more Vanderpump news as it breaks every afternoon. By the time I get to this on the West Coast, by the time I make my afternoon podcast, there's always new content out. So I try to give you fresh and new content. BachelorRushHour.com or just search Bachelor Rush Hour wherever you listen to podcasts. We'll be back with more content after this.